I got up this morning and I put this little Firebird uh, FH924 in my pocket, and I got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. So me and the production assistant are going to show you some cool things about this knife. It's really a very nice little knife. So let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. The new production assistant is uh, familiarizing himself with the studio. So um, we'll get back to the knife in a second. So guys, I gotta tell you, uh, first day in pocket, I'm pretty impressed with this little Ganzo Firebird. Uh, this is the Firebird Knives FH924 in D2. And it's a pretty good little knife so far. I had some cardboard, you know, we had to get stuff for the puppy. And so I had some cardboard to cut up and I've been cutting up cardboard with this. And while it's fairly small, uh, you're looking at just about six and a quarter, maybe a little bit more on the mat. It screams through cardboard really well. It's got some pretty good behind the edge geometry. So you're looking at a sheep's foot D2 blade that is not real big. It's probably about three inches-esque, you know, three inches-ish on that. And then done in a reverse flick only. Oh, I missed it. Reverse flick only. And uh, the action on it is really good. It's not quite drop shut. But it absolutely is really good. It's just, it's got some pretty good bearing action. But I have not taken this apart, changed out lubricant like I typically will later on. Lockup seems pretty good. The lockup is nice and tight. You've got good purchase. Um, handles on it. The handles on this are in the textured G10. So you've got really good grip, but you don't. I mean, you're not, it's not super textured. So it has not seemed like it's going to tear up pocket clips at all yet. Blade stock on it's fairly broad. Or it's fairly thick blade stock. I mean, for a knife this size, but because it's nice and broad, they did a really good job transitioning this down. I didn't have any issues with anything binding up in the metal or I mean, in the uh, material or anything when I was cutting up cardboard. It comes down and it contours around that so you get kind of a rounded feel to it so there's no hard edges uh I, you had this out and talked about it in a video with a knife that does not cut as well as this um feel in hand is really good ergos on it are really good and even the pocket clip it's a big it's kind of tall it's not really a hot spot and i like i've gotten to where i like these round pocket clips these round wire pocket clips like this because they don't have a tendency to scratch as much stuff and they don't have any sharp angles so there's no hot spots really in carry um it does not have a forward choil but even though it doesn't have a forward choil i've found myself several times today getting way up on there all the way up and on it like that and doing heavy cutting because then i can get a full, I can get four fingers. This is a three finger knife for me, but I can get all the way up on it. And I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in danger of cutting myself. So ergo's on it really, really good. Access to the lock bar is really good. And I don't feel any hot spots. The other thing I wanted to point out is this has a really cool look to it. It's got polished liners, but they've taken the liners and went all the way down onto the backspacer and then clear around this lanyard hole. And now I'm not a fan of lanyard holes. That does give it an interesting look. And then they've done one other really, really good thing I do like, and that is where this pocket clip is removable and uh, like reversible. There's a placeholder, and it's a very nice placeholder. It's not just a screw. It holds that spot completely and prevents anything from getting in there. So if you get dirt and stuff down in this, you would typically have to clean it out, but you've got that placeholder for it, which absolutely adds to some of the aesthetics. It's a little pop or a flash of shine right in there. So I haven't had any issues with it. I have not taken it apart and cleaned it. I, the, the pivot still seems tight. I've been playing with it a lot. So we're going to put this in pocket and carry it for a few days and see how it does so um i'm gonna say i'm gonna turn you guys around and send you out about your day but first i'd like you to remind you check out coffee brand coffee they are absolutely a sponsor of this channel but they are a great company money back guarantee roasted on demand delivered to your door and they don't take any political leading so that's four thousand plus five star reviews all right let's turn yeah, this around so and do far some today, pretty impressed with this little knife i am digging it um it Absolutely, the Ganzo stuff, the Firebird stuff, the uh, the their line of knives that they've come out with recently. I have been pretty impressed. This is a great little knife. It doesn't appear to be anything close to some of the knockoff stuff that they had, the knockoff-esque 
copy stuff that I had done in the past. So yeah, I'll put a link to this down below. It's a really good little knife if you're looking for a good little work knife. So guys, that's it on this one. Just a first day in pockets. I am digging it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. If you want to support the channel financially, I've got a bunch of ways uh, Tempered Trail, Coffee Brand Coffee, both channel sponsors, both share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, saves you 5% at checkout. Um, you can use my Amazon store down below. You can take that link and pin it to your browser and just use that for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. It doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout. It supports the channel. Uh, and I also have got a membership down below that is tier based. Everyone has access to my Gilded server. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways I do on this Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.